I have been loving this book. I have to take my glucose test today. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I might have to wait till that turns off. We're gonna organize today. It's 10.30, happy Tuesday, welcome back to the vlog. I have done so much today. So Paisley was sleeping over at my dad's house last night. There's also a guy walking over here, so I might like stop for a second. I'm gonna just pretend like I'm on my phone. Today I've been so productive. I did my workout. I went through the storage room, put all the stuff that I wanted to in bins for now. I have to get some bubble wrap for like our like dishes and stuff that we have extra that we're gonna save but put away. So I need to get bubble wrap for that, which I think I'm gonna run to Walmart while I'm out because I also need to get a gift for my nephew. I just got a gift for my sister-in-law. All of our birthdays are in what, like 10 days of each other. So I got her a gift. And then I also got from Target this little white basket. I love Target baskets, but I plan to use this basket get and put it in our bathroom and have all like my postpartum stuff, all like the diapers, pads, the peri bottle, like all of those things I plan to put in here. That way if I ever need to like take it around the house, I can just grab the basket and go. Now I am currently sitting in the Target parking lot because I got to donate or not donate. I need to recycle some clothes. They have a clothing recycle thing. And then I have all this stuff back there that needs to be donated. So after I go to Walmart get something for my nephew. We're gonna go to the thrift store and donate Literally everything that's in the back of my car That's kind of my morning this morning is just running a bunch of errands and then I need to go home eat lunch Get ready for work and go to work. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day, but it's been a very productive day It's amazing how many things you can get done when you don't have a child in the house like yes I could get some of these things done but probably not all of them and probably not quickly. So I wanted to show you guys what I got my nephew for his birthday. Don't worry, by the time this goes out, one, I don't think he watches my videos. I know his mom does though, but he'll already receive these. So I'm really hoping he likes them. I got him this giant slinky, <laughs> rainbow giant slinky. I got him a little fidget cube. Not sure, honestly, if he already has one of these or not, but I got him a little fidget cube. And then I got these little fidget worm looking things. All I know is I see these all over TikTok and I'm like, okay, come on. Who doesn't love a little fidget toy? I would love these, to be honest. So that's what I got for him. I'm really hoping he likes them. Anyway, I'm at the donation center. I'm gonna drop off some things. I'm just don't really know where. I don't know. I'm gonna go check and then hopefully I can get all this stuff out of my car. Happy Wednesday. I have had a very chill morning. I had a really good day at work yesterday. I slept so bad last night. I don't know what was going on, but like my mind wouldn't stop like thinking. And every time I woke up, I just kept thinking of other things I need to do and like so much like stress, <laughs> I guess. And then when I finally like I got my brain to shut off, baby, baby boy, he was moving so much. 
like to the point where I couldn't fall asleep because of it. So I've been up since four. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but I've been relaxing. I've been reading this book, um, Heart Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. Okay, so I don't know if you guys care about books, but if you do, like wonderful. If you don't, I'm gonna put a timestamp for when I'm done talking about this book and you can go skip to that. I heard so many, not bad things about this book, but I heard that like it just wasn't the best, like you couldn't really get into it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I started this book on Friday and I'm on page 127. Like I'm not gonna lie, for me to finish a book in like a week, really, really difficult for me to do, but like I might end up finishing this one in like a week or two. I have been loving this book. Maybe just because the last couple of books that I've read, like the last three were not like the best. So going from those ones to going to this one is the best. I'm really hoping I get so more books for my birthday, but we'll see. I did ask my brother and sister for some, but I also asked them for a bunch of other stuff. So we have a limit, so it's not like they're gonna buy me all of it. Anyway, besides the point, um, I am gonna buy another Colleen Hoover book to read while I'm in the hospital because with Paisley, I had to be in the hospital for 48 hours. I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be the same with this baby. I'm gonna be spending lots of time. I figured it's the perfect time to be able to sit and read a new book and do nothing for 48 hours except for to take care of a newborn, which if you've ever taken care of a newborn, they eat, sleep, and poop. That's literally it. That's their only job is to eat, sleep, and poop. I'm gonna read, hopefully, during that time. But for now, I'm actually just waiting for Chris to text me back because he's at the gym. He literally just texted me as I said that. Um, so I'm going to make us some coffee and then I'm gonna wait for him to get home and probably read some more. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. It's much, much later now. I literally just put Paisley to bed. It's 6.54 right now. And I'm gonna be honest, today has been a rough day. And I don't share, I feel like, a whole lot of like super deep content. It was just a really hard mom day today. Like I already know some of it is because I didn't get sleep last night. I just kept getting overstimulated really easily. So that didn't help. And then I just had like a lot of random things go wrong today. That's why I didn't film much of today. I wanted to film a lot more, but when I'm not in a good mood, I I don't, the first thing I think of is to not like, not pick up my camera, not do anything that's causing me more work than what I am doing in that moment. But with that being said, I'm really hoping that tomorrow goes better for me for now. I've been loving this book so far. I'm over halfway now. I'm going to just sit here and read and kind of relax, be by myself, destimulate a little bit, and then hopefully tomorrow will go a little better. So I love you and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. I keep forgetting that I didn't film anything on Monday, so it feels like I haven't done mama. much this week. Touch it, mama. Ready? Throw the wall! But I have to take my glucose test today. I'm 28 weeks, I have to take my glucose test. So I will show you guys the whole process and that I'm already starving, but I have to fast for the next like three hours basically, because I tell you to fast before your test. I don't think I can technically eat anything after I drink the actual drink and stuff. So by the whole process is over. Take it, mama. I'm, ca I'm, I'm ready. Ready? 
Whoa, ready? Try again. Whoa, we're ready? Try again. Ah! Here's my belly at 28 weeks. Holy smokes. If I have noticed, if I'm not hydrated, I do have some Braxton Hicks contractions, but normally, as long as I drink ah! enough water, I don't have them. Whoa! My colostrum is coming in. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the hug. <laughs> what else? I think that's really my only plan today is that doctor's appointment. My plan was to work out this morning, but I honestly was so tired, so I just did 15 minutes on our little on our little bike that we have, and then we just went for a little walk because it's supposed to thunderstorm and rain all day today. Thank you. It's the camera. It is a camera. But I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'll update you guys when I drink my glucose test. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. It's only 9 o'clock. My appointment's until 10.45. I'm already so hungry. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. That's all. That's my whole update. Okay, bye. It's only been a little bit, but I'm trying my hardest to like distract myself so I don't accidentally eat food. I keep going to like the pantry, grabbing something out of there and being like, oh crap, like I can't eat this. So I'm trying to distract myself. Like I just got, I just got ready, literally just threw on a different outfit. It's nothing fantastic, oversized shirt, leggings, put my hair up. I think I have about 17 minutes. I set a timer so I wouldn't forget until I have to drink my glucose like the drink. For now, I think I might read a couple pages. I might throw a load of laundry in. I'm just distracting myself because I'm so hungry. I got it right here. All right, I have to tell her what time I finished the drink. So it's 9.55 right now. I have to drink it within five minutes. So I'm gonna take my time because I honestly don't think I'll have any issue getting this down. I do remember not thinking it was that bad. All right, here goes nothing. Hello. Hello. No, it's really not that bad. It tastes like those popsicles that are like just the juice popsicles and like just the juice at the end. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? I'll try to see if I can find a picture. Like, but those popsicles and when it all melts. I really don't think it tastes that bad. Maybe I just like sugar too much. I'm halfway and it's been two minutes, so. Thank you so much. Done. When I come home, I'll update you guys on if I passed or not. Guess we'll find out. I am back, but I passed my glucose test. Uh. We're all good. I did have to get a shot of some sort. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what it is, but my arm was sore, but it's fine now, so we're good. But mama's really, really tired, so we're gonna go play for a little bit. I'll talk to you guys later. It's 5.45 and this is like the kind of time during the night where like I'm done, I'm overstimulated. I just have no patience and I can like feel myself starting to get that way. I haven't like lost my cool yet, <laughs> but I can just like feel it's coming. Paisley goes to bed between 6.30 and 7. Um, I've been trying to push it back a little bit just because like Chris isn't even home from work yet. I don't even know if he's gonna be home tonight, to be honest. I've been trying to clean up my house a little bit. That way when Chris gets home, it's not a disaster. I'm really trying to stay patient. And it's really, like I'm, I'm struggling right now. I'm my my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, a hey, you want us for run when I tell her peace. Love is love. Love is love. Adios. Bindo, bindo, 
up with the switch again Boy deliver like he heffin' it Call with they just give him estimates Summer sauce for my Benjamins I got, I got what you need, baby Skirt the Chevy, make a scene, baby L.A. B.B. been the team, baby Bim Bim Papa word the G, baby Look, lab till I'm finished Had a handful of lemons Through the hand, got a bag Now the hands in the business For my hand, it's a ticket Talking Mazda for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it I've been playing with the minutes That they been shoulda gave And I'm flipping every digit That they been shoulda paid Had to find a way to get it Know this isn't what you made If I ever wanna dip Then I'm break with the blade Good morning, happy Friday. So, a little update on like my doctor's appointment yesterday and how that all went. Obviously, did I already tell you guys this? I passed my glucose test. We're good, we're solid in that range. But I was looking at like my test results um, for my blood tests and I noticed that my red, red blood cell count was low. It's still within the standard range, but like barely literally on the edge. Like the lowest I could possibly be in the standard range, I'm <laughs> low. My goal is to try to get it back up more holistically through food and exercise. So with all of the research that I've done online, and I know it can't always trust the internet, just having foods that are high in iron, um, like red meats and leafy greens and then doing more of a aerobic exercise which is like a steady state cardio for some time. So I did 20 minutes on the bike this morning um, as well as some legs and stuff just because I haven't done legs in a while. I didn't eat before I worked out and I think that's why I'm like I feel the way I do right now but I'm also making some eggs because I've heard the yolk in the eggs is really good if you are low in red blood cells. So, also, I'm I'm not a doctor. I literally just looked this up on Google and like tried to figure out like what multiple website has said. I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't normally, like I'm not eating anything I wouldn't normally eat. Um, I'm just having, bettering my diet basically. So we're gonna see how it goes. Obviously I have a doctor's appointment in two weeks. Um, I'll talk to my doctor about it then. I'm making my breakfast, I'm just chilling. That was pretty much my whole update. I will. I'm gonna sit and chill, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna charge that while I eat my breakfast, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm currently outside with Paisley. She's playing with her bucket over there. I'm sorry if it's super loud. Like, I don't know what's going on on like the highway or something, which is right over there. I feel like it's normally not that loud. We're outside, it's not raining, but it's like misting out. But I wanted to get Paisley outside for a little bit because it's supposed to rain like from 11 o'clock till like, tomorrow morning and it's currently like 10 ish what time is it i don't actually know what time it is it's like 9 30 i guess chris is on his way home from works and it's gonna take him about just under an hour so i figured we would come outside until he gets home yeah we're just chilling out here playing for a little while appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed <sighs> okay, it is much, much later. I just took a bath. Paisley's at my mom's for about another hour. And so I wanted to relax for a little bit, but now I really want to clean my house. My house is a disaster. However, it should be fairly easy to clean up because I just deep cleaned it not that long ago. So it's mainly just like picking up random things. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very grateful for my mom and having her take Paisley for a couple hours because Ever since Chris got this new job, like it's been an adjustment for sure. If you're a mom, you know, like sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of a rest and a break and have some alone time, especially when you literally get no alone time. So anyway, I'm gonna clean. I gotta like switch laundry. I'm not gonna worry about making my bed though because like it's five o'clock right now. I'm not gonna make my bed when I'm gonna probably lay in it and read a book in like two hours, so. I just did like the whole living room and I'm so tired. And it's not even like my body, or it's not even like my brain. 
it's my body. My body just like, I don't want to move. I don't want to do anything. I can't be bothered to do anything. But at the same time, like if I don't do anything, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But I wanted to at least make sure I got the living room done before I picked up Paisley because her room is like under the living room and you can just hear it. If I were to clean after she went to bed, she'd hear me walking around on it and like, vacuuming and all that stuff and I don't want that. I have about 20 minutes, a little less than 20 minutes before I have to go pick up Paisley. So I'm going to try and get some things done in the kitchen. That way I can get that done hopefully before, before she goes to bed. I'm trying to find a YouTube video to watch right now because I need something that's like motivating me to clean. I've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down cause oh. <laughs> Whoa, with this up angle. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm leaving the dishes for now. I know that might sound like weird, but the dishes that are in our drying rack are not fully dry. And I could dry them myself, but I'm too lazy to do that. And it's just a better excuse for me to not do this. We're gonna leave it how it is. Maybe like five minutes before I have to leave. I'm just gonna kind of get ready to go because clearly I'm not gonna go like this. I'm just sitting here editing. Paisley is in bed, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was kind of just a random mumbled week so i'm sorry but i've done so much cleaning this week i feel like i feel like nesting mode is settling in i'm ready to organize everything and get all the baby stuff ready only like 12 weeks left in the next month i'm so busy i'll talk to you guys next week make sure to subscribe because i make weekly vlogs um like this video because it really supports my channel and i'll see you guys all in my next week's vlog